back to my channel and our kayaking adventures. On December 12th, we are back in Brevard County, Florida, after spending four days kayaking the Florida Keys. After looking at the map, we decided that with the Marine Weather Advisory, we might want to kayak some sheltered waters. There were high winds, and it was a cloudy day with a 52% chance of rain. We decided on paddling Crane Creek, one of our favorite places to kayak because of the high chance of seeing some manatee in the area. We put in at Front Street Park in Melbourne around noon. The temperature was 72 degrees, much warmer than it had been. The Indian River was a little rough, but we anticipated that once we were sheltered within the Crane Creek, the water would be much calmer. We did see a few dolphin fins in the Indian River, but because of the high waves tossing our kayaks around, we didn't get any good shots. From the boat ramp at Front Street Park to the mouth of Crane Creek is approximately a half a mile. Depending on the weather, it can either be a smooth paddle or you'll be treated like a pinball and bounced around from wave to wave, such as today. You don't want to paddle too close to shore since there are some rocks in this area which can bottom out your kayak. So with these waves, it's best to paddle a little bit further offshore. Once we did get to Crane Creek, I was right, the water was much smoother. The mouth of Crane Creek is also a marina. There are so many nice boats to look at as you paddle along the way. Surprisingly, there were a couple vessels leaving Crane Creek, like this small sailboat and this catamaran, both, I'm sure, going out to find their own adventure. As we paddle through the marina toward the bridge, I keep an eye out for any dorsal fins. After all, we've spotted dolphin in this area before, but today we saw none. It was still fun checking out some of the boats and their names. The first bridge is US-1. US-1 runs 2,369 miles from Key West, Florida to Fort Kent, Maine at the Canadian border. It is the longest north-south road in the United States. The second bridge is a train bridge, which is part of the Florida East Coast Railway, originally constructed in 1893 by Henry Flagler. It is still in use today. As we paddle past the two bridges, we are greeted by a couple of kayakers that are returning from their adventure. Curiously, we ask them about the wildlife that we should expect to see as we make our way up the creek. How's it going? All right. See any manatee or alligator back there today? There's a whole bunch. When you get up to the island, if you go off to the right, they're all in front of them. All right, perfect. Oh, yeah, just to the left, on the left bank. Right here on the corner. All right, thanks. Well, that's good to know. There are manatee back in the creek today. Now we just have to pay attention, since manatee can be very difficult to spot when they are submerged. They say manatee typically come up for air every five minutes. However, it also depends on the manatee's level of activity. When it is resting, the aquatic mammal can hold its breath for up to 20 minutes. When paddling, you can watch for swirls in the water caused by their tail as they swim below the surface. You also want to listen for them to come up for air. Manatees will blow out or exhale very forcefully when they reach the water surface. We reached the first area where we typically see the manatee. However, there were none. Slightly disappointed, we paddled back further as we were very confident that the second area would be where they were. After all, those kayakers did say they saw them, so they had to be around somewhere. Well, no manatee yet, but we did see some turkey out and about in this person's yard. We typically don't see turkey when we paddle back in this area. I do know of an area in Cape Canaveral where peacocks roam free. I may have to make a video about it. Let me know if that interests you in the comments below. We were at the second area where we typically see manatee and still none around. We asked the girls playing if they saw any manatee and they said they did earlier then they pointed out the raccoons up in the tree in their yard. Do raccoons nest in trees? Or do you think they were pilfering a bird's nest? After watching the raccoons a bit and checking the water for surfacing manatee, we moved on and paddled further up the creek.
While we typically do not see manatee this far back, we have seen alligator, turtles, and waterfowl, such as this great blue herring. As it started to sprinkle, we thought we'd slowly make our way back to Front Street Park. We were still on the hunt for some manatee, which, spoiler alert, we will find. We didn't paddle too far before another raccoon ran up to the shore, watched us paddle by, then it took off. Finally, as we made our way back to the first place we had expected to see manatee, sure enough, there were manatee. Where were they the first time around? No idea. Playing a game of hide and seek with us, I guess. As you can see, there were several of them. We had to be careful where we paddled and not get too close. We should have shared our plans to keep our distance with the manatee. As we looked, there were scores of them, manatee in all directions. The clarity of the water made it difficult to see them when they submerged. I didn't even see the manatee that splashed me until it was already too late. It gave me quite the startle. This was the second time a manatee has almost tossed my kayak. This is why I wanted to keep my distance.
As we made our way back to Front Street Park, we were amazed at how many manatee we saw on the way back. There were swirls everywhere in the water. I guess the manatee were there all along, we just didn't see them going in. The Indian River was much more calm than earlier in the day as we exited Crane Creek and paddled back to the boat ramp. Despite the wind and the chance of rain, the day was great. There was lots to see. Crane Creek is one of the places that never disappoints. That's why it is one of our favorite paddling destinations while visiting the Space Coast. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have, give us a thumbs up by liking this video. If you're new to this channel, join Team Kayak 7 Seas by also hitting that subscribe button. We have plenty more kayaking adventures to share. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Until next time, I hope to see you out on the water someday.